Welcome back. Falling from 10,000 feet above the ground may not sound appealing to most, but for some, jumping out of a perfectly good airplane is part of a daily life that's only possible because of the countless amounts of hours of training and preparation. Skydiving is a bucket list item for some, an impossibility for others, and a way of life for a lucky few. We get in an airplane, um, we have to check the tires, we got to check the gauges, we got to check the flaps. I mean, there's so many things we check before we even start that airplane up. And then even before we take off on the runway, we're doing more checks. When we're in the airplane with the skydiving equipment or even with the airplane, we're checking constantly everything in the airplane. The parachutes, we're always checking our stuff before we get out. For the instructors at Jump Junction, located inside the Grand Junction Airport, safety is at a premium because you aren't only protecting your career, you're protecting another friend's life. We're always looking out for each other in the sport of skydiving. We, we understand that this still is jumping out of a perfectly good airplane. So we definitely still take those precautions. We don't let anything get dangerous. Um, we don't cut corners. And that's why the sport continuously grows is because we don't make mistakes. If the promise of safety doesn't ease the fear of the first jump, you can rest easy knowing that you're in the hands of some seasoned professionals with the best gear around. I mean, altimeters range anywhere from, you know, 100 to $500. Um, everyone takes one. We have a Cypress. It's a safety in the, uh, in the reserve. It uh, automatically fires at about 2,000 feet. Uh, I've been jumping for 10 years. Um, I have 9,600 jumps. Um, and we jump every day. Probably more like five or ten times a day. But, you know, skydiving's really safe. It's safer than driving here in your car. I mean, it's hard to talk people into it, it seems. But, you know, when we're getting ready to jump, I always have them kind of breathe and relax. Uh, if it's possible. Um, but I recommend it to anybody. It's beautiful. <laughs> With the knowledge that I was in more than capable hands, I decided to make my first jump from 10,000 feet, not only to conquer my own fears, but to show that this is something that everyone should experience at least once in their life. There are few words that accurately quantify the feeling of free falling and then the slow, soft ride back down to earth. After my first time, I felt like I was hooked right away. It's hard to imagine that this is still essentially the beginner's course, but right before my jump, Dylan and Brian did their own tandem jump that saw them reach speeds of up to 252 miles an hour. All in all, skydiving feels safer than you think. The raw adrenaline coupled with beautiful views make this a sport that has some staying power here in the valley. I haven't booked my next flight yet, but you can be sure that this is something I have to do again. I wouldn't want to do it with anyone else. You can go see Dylan and the crew anytime down at the Grand Junction Airport. Visit them online at skydivegj.com. Call at 970-208-7452 or email to info at skydivegj.com.